morning folks let's check out the Lake Tanganyika setup today sorry for the glare there's two buffalo head cichlids in the back I'm not sure if one's male and one's female or if they're both males, but man, they have they have really been going at it trying to establish some sort of territory together. That's kind of why I think one's a female and one's a male, but the way they're beating the crap out of each other, it's hard to tell. a pretty cool calvis here. There's one that lives in this shell. Julie the Chromis. There's a Brashardi in here. Some Frontosa. Some pretty good sized Compressiceps. Anyways, this tank is acrylic and the overflow here is in the center. Here's the returns. So the tank's drilled on the bottom. I'll show you that. sump here. So anybody who's still using filter socks, I'm pretty sure you're sick and tired of changing socks every three to five days. So my advice, get some of these Red Reef Media Cups. Just put your, put your overflow right into them. What I have is a little bit of filter floss on the bottom and above I've got a three inch thick coarse sponge to get out all the heavy gunk and below that is the floss. Then my chamber of course has to go under, pass through all the biomedia and then it goes over this chamber down again and then back to the tank. I put these little power heads in each chamber so that I don't get that nasty like protein film on the surface. This works pretty well for me. 